Chaotic Apex, and this is the via tile will be about me, me actually redoing the story about my rings, and hopefully be entertaining, and seeing how I'll be doing the game, because I can actually stand here and talk and entertain. I would do call. So what gonna happen is when I do like story times, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do random games where I can do with this mic and just talk to myself. What I thought so like talk over the mic. It'll just be my me. Also, I'm a little rusty in this game. Okay, how, how do this chief thing? Well, anyway, anyways, this is not me really playing the game. This is me talking about the rings. But like, future next thing I'm thinking about, about how, all the pets I got or how I got them or whatnot. I can't really full on remember. Um, there's some other stuff we'll have for for y'all. Which require me. The things about my pets, I kind of want to do that with one of my actual current pets here. Let me do that. So, you have that. But yeah, every time I do a storm time, I probably switch up the game that I'm just doing like on explore form. Like right now, I'm just on exploration. This just keep me on your team. But anyway. Um y'all will be seeing some more videos. Maybe later on Friday I may do a fiend video. We will see. I gotta think about that. But anyway. I'm gonna drink some more water, man. All right, so when I was younger, I was more of a necklace person. You know, and eventually again, like silly bands or whatnot. But you know, I wasn't like into like stuff like that hazardly. As you can, as you can probably tell. So, Texas is actually when I got the ring, got into the rings. So I was actually this is actually when we were practicing archery in the same day we also went to go play the game of laser tag. Play laser tag, right? Alright, so we leaving we were leaving this the store, right? So on the ground I I actually found um a chain with a ring on it. Now I was not there really I wasn't really too worried about the ring itself. It was just gonna be like an ornament on the chain. So I had picked the chain up from the street. When I looked at it, I was like, okay, this is decent, right? So I brought it home, tried, we we'll mess around with a bit. No the chain was like, it was gonna be too small to fit around my neck. It was too broken, so there was no point in me using it as a chain, cause even though I fixed it to a point, it would just been too small anyway. So, and I went for the ring after washing it, of course. I then, um, I put on one of my fingers. I think it was actually my left index finger that I chose, actually. So, after I got that one, I was like, alright, I like the way that works. And y'all probably looking like, okay. Y'all just need to start from the moon? Well, partially and whatnot. So I only had that one ring at the time. When I was a freshman, I think I... Yeah, I only had that one ring on, right? So I was in class, and it was, on my, it was a science class. I don't know what branch of science, but I do remember it was a science class. Yeah, I do remember it was a science class. So I remember one of my classmates, um, he had, yeah, like he had a ring too. He had like um the ring that I'm wearing on my thumb currently. It was um it was, a, it was a bronze ring, right? Now he told me he was gonna get give me the silver one or silver colored one or whatnot. He was gonna keep this one, but he eventually he actually gave me this one instead. He actually gave me the bronze one instead, and he ended up wearing the larger silver one. 
And then so we have that. So as he, so as he gave me the um, silver one, I made sure to keep that right. So now I have two. Now I had two rings at the time frame. Two rings. So, you know, y'all like, oh, that's two rings. Okay, but you got like ten on your hands, and it makes you have more because you have longer than that. Well, that is true. That is indeed true. I actually then I actually get from um, friends of Halo Run now, which I still contact um, two of them. Well, I guess it's only one of them. Not one friend from Texas, but like one of the friends that actually gave me the rings. But you know, the other persons are are with water. So both of them was like they gave me a couple of the extra rings they didn't want need it for. And when I had them, right? So now I have like technically I had 12, but there's a lot more small rings and whatnot that can fit on one finger. So I up the can fit on individual fingers I have. So what it was is I decided to put them uh, multiple rings on the same fingers, right? All right then. Now out of that set, there's the only ones left that was given from there is my ball cap ring. Which I had two versions. I had a small version. I had this one, which the other version my dad had supposedly had, but he lost that. And then I have the ring on my pinky. And if y'all watch all my other videos, when I actually am still wearing my jewelry, which is the majority of them, which they have visuals, you know what, um, you know what rings I'm talking about. And my my right pinky and my right my left pinky and my right thumb. I'm mean, like no no my right pinky yeah my right pinky and my right thumb and my left thumb. Anyway, the bronze ring is on my right my right thumb. Anyway, so you know that's how that one. So eventually down line, I actually gave the feminine rings because you know so okay so eight eight or twelve okay eight of the twelve rings or no it was more. I like you only kept two from there or th I kept three from there so nine of the twelve rings were female rings technically and you know while I'm going my jump high is like you know what one of the rings just still doesn't really work like that so you know I legit I legit proceedly just changed the thing I mean okay so one of my, I remember down low when my sister's birthday was coming up, one of her gifts were actually multiple um, rings. Which she still has, to my knowledge. So she, this is my half sister. So I don't live with her. Anyway, so I gave her those, the rings for her for her birthday, you know, that way someone wear them for family. So then I'm back to like um, four or five rings at this time frame. Um I want to say by the time I gave my sister the, the feminine rings, I think I had already found my ring that, you know, you know the one, the jewelry that has the part of the Bible on it that's in Spanish, it's in Spanish. Now, that's one of the rings I found. It was in art class. And one day we were leaving, I actually saw a ring on the ground. I saw it on the ground, on the floor, right? And I'm like, oh, well, that, that will probably be lost. So then... I got that. Cleaned when I got home, saw the outfit. And it's actually on the same figure that on the other day. On that day. Or actually, it might have in a different direction. I did have smaller hands. Some rings had to change spots. But yeah, and you know, that's the ring on my right index finger, I think. Yeah, index finger. That's how I got that one. And then I think for the longest for during my time in Texas, that those were the only rings I had when I was a freshman in high school. That's what I want to say. And then so I only technically had six rings during that time frame. Left with six rings. And then let me drink some water. <laughs> 
All right, trying to make myself clear, speaking clear. All right. So I had like six full rings when I went to Fishville and um, had my school year here, which I'm currently at. So I had six rings. At one point, I had them all filled up again. I hadn't filled multiple times. So I can't remember what exact rings I had first. I'm just gonna put random. So, so the time wise might be messed up a little bit. All right, so we're gonna go to the Gothic rings. Which there's only like two pieces I have left of the original full finger ones, but yeah. So my grandma for Xmas got me the um. Hold up, I saw light in the window. All right, nothing going on back there. Got me um some gothic rings for Xmas. Now I don't know about y'all, but we a lot of the stuff we did was not really surprise based for our gifts. You know, unless we can unless we can confirm we know the person the target actually is into like the genre of stuff to get. Then otherwise we normally know um we normally ask the person whatnot. You have an idea? You know what I'm saying? So. So you got that for you. Oh yes, yeah, I. So. So we, I, per, I personally ordered the four. Wait, hold on, what's the four? No, it's five. The five got them, so I ordered them all, right? I can probably actually later on one point actually show you a clip. I mean, it's not gonna be in this video. I mean, it is good with that. Hook up my phone. But I can probably show y'all. I got it from Amazon. I'm not sure it from Amazon. And when I, and I don't know if it's still up to the buy or the other set, but I had buy five of them. Now, it's like, I wanna say it's actually 10, pe 10 actual rings, but they're different, so they match it up. So I had gotten the larger skull one. Now mind you can't get the ring size. They get whatever ring. You get you get whatever size it is. But um I got the I had gotten the flipping the the I wanna say the bulky skull one. Skull full finger nick rings because these are knuckle wings. Full skull one one. I got the war a wolf one, a scorpion, and an armored one. Now that's four. That's four. Yeah. Okay. It was four. Okay. So it's eight in total then, because none of the rings I have will fit on my thumb. All right. So I had them. Now, mind you, two of them, especially the my armored one for my middle finger, have pointed tips and claws. So you know, eventually down the line, I had to um take care of that problem for school, because you know now while they. The, t the principal or whatever s said they weren't threatened about me harming people, which I feel like half of the way he said was true that he didn't believe I would harm anyone because I would argue in school grades and I, I'm a pretty chill person. I wouldn't, alright? But they didn't have time for someone to A, borrow one of my rings or take and, co and have the rings for themselves and then proceed to try to throw hands at somebody and be harming them. They were not risking no one of less calmness and it's common sense to get the rings so seeing how I want that it was not for having my rings empty or whatnot what I did was I just broke off the armor or the tips of the rings and kept the base ring forms for them so that's what I did which wasn't too hard cuz um they were stainless steel rings now they weren't the the silver stainless steel rings which I found out later cuz they apparently had white silk that has silver polish on it which eventually turned to um pink which you know eventually it's not really a good look to see like part of silver with pink like it's resting oh here people over here you got some people over acting like they fake like come on people fake jewelry looks different and plus every plus you legit this was encrusted just because someone got silver ch just because someone have like a bronze chain covered in silver don't mean it's fake it's still a real chain Anyway, 
So, you know, down the line I had that and you know that wasn't a problem. It had my rings still. Um then I had bought and gotten a three set of rings when I got my um my black chain with skull. Which if y'all expected me to do a story about my chains, now nah, I have a lot of chains that broke. None that interesting or compelling of how lost or anything gave away. You know, um so we had three I had three set of a black band ring, gold. I'm on tip of wing. Like it was like standard wings, but I think you can use a ring. So it was black, gold, and silver hat, right? Not all the same size. Meaning, you know, half the time I can't re really wear all of them at the same time because not my rings are like that identical in size. Now back then I, I did that actually, but you know one was on the other hand, and I mixed them up. But eventually got big. So I actually gave um, the two gold ones to two of my friends at the time. I mean, I'm still friends with one of them. You know, that's the only one, and that's the one I'm still in contact with. And it's not like I'm, I don't touch the other one because I don't want to. It's just the fact they stopped talking to me. So I'm not for I'm not trying I'm not gonna be like repeatedly call someone when not, they don't respond and you know I'm not gonna like keep pushing to someone like hey look I'm done talk to you I'm I don't want to talk to you or not and they get aggressive because they want to be real so I'm just gonna take any the hint that they probably just want to forget what left the life from over this reach because they moved and all that and I'm just gonna let them be them I mean hey. There's no point in me doing it. If they don't want to talk, they don't want to talk. There's no, that's no one's fault. Anyway, so I gave them the gold and silver one. You know, cause I thought I paired them those two up quite well, and I kept the black one. Which, if I heard in my rants when I got later on rings, because you know this stuff before I got full on ten ring form, as I like to call call it. Team ring form, like I like to call it. Um, I was back eight or six at this point again. So, um, eventually some of the rings broke over time because it was it was the thinner and cheaper stainless steel, so it couldn't actually stand up for too long apparently, and they withered away. Um, like I said, I only got the skull and the scorpion part left from it um the armor piece I get to my dad and it broke and it, it, that's what it broke in his care mind you again I don't live with my dad at all so like I said I don't know what he's at doing currently anyway so you have that and then so then later a year when I went this actually was store in Falls one of my scorpions. My past scorpion, but we had went to um I wanna say it was Myrtle Beach. Is what I wanna say it was. But I'm not sure. I'm not really sure. But yeah. So I went there um and then that's where I, that's where I got the completion of the Marines cuz oh wait no no. Before that I had bought and I had got cuz now now I'm only wearing two of the stainless rings. So that's when I had bought ordered me two rings. I ordered a skull, ram skull ring that y'all I was gotta tell y'all which hand that's on y'all sure I'm gonna tell whenever y'all see my hands and then I got in the little silver ring with the on um, the tip like the little pointed tip so then I had those rings and then we went to Myrtle Beach later on and then I got a pair of the black and silver rings that I got And at that point, I actually had all my, I had all my fingers finally with ten rings. All right. 
But then I ended up getting another ring because, like, like I said, like, over a while from next, uh, my junior year, and like, yeah, instantly. That ring is like to replace. Because, like, at that point, I stopped wearing the scorpion ring like that. When I had the pair of the black and silver. And I had them. And then eventually, I think, I know for a fact, I gave one of the same pair to one of my previous friends in Stone Mountain. Don't know if they still got it or whatnot. Um, and. Yeah, that, that's ring. And then I had ordered me. I had ordered me the black gem ring. To take the space for that, I think. And then, thanks to a little bra, these extra flipping students in front of the bus stop are. Now, mind you, I was afraid enough where they shouldn't have been escalated to me getting knocked down. But I failed that I was knocked down. And my black bandit ring, my black iron, my black steel, steel, steel ring fell and I could not find it. Which was a. Bummer. So now I'm wearing nine rings. So now I want to go replace that one, which is because I, I, I cre legit previously ordered the silver, my sapphire um, ring to complement my ruby ring. So then I'll end up ordering my dragon white gem ring, and then order was restored yet again. We're wearing ten rings. And then, pretty much, I mean, I guess temporarily had like a second skull ring, you know, because the um, Kasonia, um found it, and then she handed it to me. But it, looked, it was stainless, it was a little feminine, plus it looked like it was also um, polished, like, it had, like, it was stainless, it was stainless steel, but it was like, it had like the silver polish one, so it's actually rose stainless steel, which, my thing is this, I prefer to get things sol in solid colors, because it's let it's, Instead of only watching it chip away and whatnot and getting the flakes, it's just better to get the color that it is. You know? If I want a rose thing listening, I'll get it. I mean, I mean. So if I actually get it to one of my other previous friends. Anyway. But. Yeah, that's actually all the story up to the current, to my current rings, to my past ring, to any lost or that are still here, or how I got them, really. But, I, I mean, that's how I had rings, and I told y'all pretty much, and how I got them. But, I don't know that really couple minutes of why I got into it. So, I pretty much, the thing is, I pretty much told y'all the story of my first ring. And that's all it comes down to, because like... I just kind of like, I kind of found it interesting for me to have a ring. And I was like, okay, and then I actually continued collecting them, and then I just wanted them the whole, whole complete set. Went through plenty of them. And then I just like designs of certain stuff. This is how it was. Well, overall, it wasn't like some compelling thing. It wasn't like for some sacred thing. It was no like higher meaning. I just kind of got into collecting rings after like getting one ring, really. But hey. I always thought it was interesting until I kept clicking something that rings look nice. Rings look nice and then seeing these on my hands. Dump the careful. Though so you would ask me tell me my younger self that I would be clicking and wearing ten rings, I would look at you like, that's funny, I'm a necklace person. That's literally what I would have told you. Or at least something I would have told you. There's no time what I would tell y'all, but I would I would look like you to like you're making things up though. Okay, okay, now 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 that you're not ready. But yeah though. 
that's that's actually how I got into rings. That's how I got like all the rings I have currently or previously. And that's all really there is to it. It wasn't like it was like some dragon event. It's just I found the ring, decided to wear it, and then I just continue doing it. I continue to collect. It was no higher meaning or anything. So, um, that's how I got into my rings or how I got my rings. I know I have a video talk about that way back, but you know, that's like, that's like, that's an, that, this is like pretty much an updated version, but with more background story about all of them. And then what got me into it. Um, so I'm just gonna tell how I got my rings or what got me into rings is gonna be the title of this. Um, wasn't that the eventful story y'all probably were expecting? Heck, y'all probably thought like, oh, y'all probably were supposed to win. I mean, it's not really, I don't really think believe it was that much of an interesting story. I, I kind of made it downplay a couple of things, but really, uh, it's just, really, that's all it was. I just wanted to collect. Um, further stories might be more interesting. I at least try to keep it interesting, but, you know, I'm not going to, like, make up things. I'm just going to keep the story and the facts how it is. So, I don't know what next story I'll go over, but, um, yes. Like, subscribe, um, we'll see what other things I tell y'all from my past. And, let the chaos guide you, I guess.